it's time to answer a serious question that no one's brought up to me. Why am I hard on Teen Titans Go? Then three rants on Toddler Titans. Two on episodes that I saw the day they premiered, and I decided to answer why they were bad in my opinion. The third one was on that Boomerang has started airing this excuse for a show. Yeah. One reason I am hard on this show is because of its adored by the network status. And this is a status that most shows don't get. But Cartoon Network and Nick both are victim to giving a show a lot of screen time for a while. You may be asking, what were the other Cartoon Network shows that have this big status? For a current example, Gumball also gets this status more than Adventure Time, Steven Universe, or regular show. Surprisingly enough, I'm okay with that. Gumball, I think, is an amazing show, and I will, might do some reviews on it later. It's the funniest show on the network. This status could bring your show into infamy alone. With two words, Johnny Test. It's so cheap to produce, and has little to no continuity whatsoever, is a perfect show for a network to use. Gumball is an okay example of this. Johnny Test and Teen Titans Go are both not okay examples. Wanna know why? Neither of the shows are funny. Neither of the shows have good character. And neither of the shows have good and relevant plots. Johnny Test rips off other shows. Teen Titans Go makes a mockery of other shows. Do I consider Teen Titans Go worse than Johnny Test? Yes. It made a mockery of multiple, multiple Cartoon Network shows. It has made a mockery of the original Teen Titans. It, it even made a mockery of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's how low it's gotten, and I will be talking about that episode later. Kind of funny that Cartoon Network adores a show that they could air over and over again. Well, what's funny is they can't adore Steven Universe. They can't adore that or Adventure Time because they both have something that not a single other Cartoon Network show currently on has, in my opinion, plot. I have not seen the new Transformers, so that does not count in it. That's not my only problem with Toddler Titans. It's the morals it tries to teach. Oh my goodness, this will be a long and heated rant. Teen Titans Go are the absolute worst I have ever seen. The show excuses comedy for morals. It doesn't have comedy, but it'll use morals to bounce off of that. And that's what annoys me about that show. It attempts to teach kids morals that are wrong. Feeling that Teen Titans Go is an excuse for an edutainment show. They're trying to be an edutainment show in most episodes, I think. They're either doing that, or they're doing some stupid nonsense. That is unneeded. Either completely wrong, boys versus girls, um, artful dodgers, vegetables, or stupid. Most of the other morals episodes. And, you know what? Try teaching that, but you think kids are going to know the difference between a good moral and a bad moral? No. You know another show that tries to teach morals but is better? Almost every Disney cartoon. Yep. I think Disney cartoons are loaded with morals, especially Gravity Falls. The episode Boss Mabel proves my point. When you have characters that are so immature that they um, will sabotage each other for nothing, and then you try to have them teach morals to children, and then the next thing you have them do is something completely immature, I think that leads for a bad, bad moral. I mean, would you trust any of these toddler titans to teach a moral? I don't think so. To the plots, that are the most bizarre plots I have ever seen. They are both episodes that use a bizarre and paranormal thing to try doing their bidding. The Serious Business uses it with bathrooms coming alive. Kicking a ball and pretending to be hurt says that trolls live in soccer balls. That's the only wa reason why people like it. Two things that they used in 
that episode were this the third worst episode of the series, Artful Dodgers. And they also threw in some serious business. You get a mix for bad stuff. Yeah. I'm rolling with that. I shall state in this video is my problem with the characters. They have none. Why create a character for your characters when you could just use a, a soulless comedy that you just shoehorned in? Ooh, you are lazy. Ooh. This show is lazier than this. I am a huge, huge, huge core fan. And I will tell you, Nickelodeon made two video games out of it. The Xbox One one that I plan to buy soon. And, to top that all off, they created A New Era Begins, which is a waste of a video game. Wanna know why? I am probably one of the biggest Fire Emblem fans there is out there, who hasn't played many of the games. But, I've played Awakening, Radiant Dawn, Shadow Dragon. I love the mechanics, and I've always thought that that would be the perfect, perfect system for Korra or the original Avatar to go into. What does Nickelodeon do? Create just a crappy licensed game. I'll tell you, I don't have as good of a taste in video games as I do in, in animation. Five of the Titans are the same character. And one of what? That's something that shouldn't happen ever. I love silly jokes and they all, they all are the normal in the show standards. Seriously, when they do get an actual villain to play a straight man, they think the Titans are heroes. When they don't get a villain, they'll turn one of the Titans into villains and accept us to um, excuse their actions in the previous episode. Also, all of the Titans have two personalities that they fluctuate through. And it's the exact same two for all of them. There's the silly fun-loving side and the antagonist usually side. That side is usually rather bearable, and they're presenting a concept. Most people would say that Teen Titans Go is not formulaic. I think it's probably one of the most formulaic shows out there. Thing, every episode is the exact same concept. A Titan exposes the others to to new ideas. OMG! In vegetables, Beast Boys expose them to vegetables. OMG, in books, ravens expose them to books. OMG, in friendship, ravens expose them to friendship. The others treat the concept no matter what like crap and get punished for their actions, but everything is better is changed by the end of it. Nothing being changed, nothing has been changed. This is the only show on Cartoon Network that I think you could watch at any episode at any time and you could still get the full benefit. There's no two-part specials, there's no action, there's no continuity. This Steven Universe is the exact opposite of that. You have to watch all the episodes in order. Even the comedic ones, because they bring your the characters closer to get together. So, w going back to the plots here, there's another type. Titan versus Titan. Two Titans have different ideas, and they clash. The one episode that I can note for that is Boys vs. Girls. So there's those episodes where everyone's in their silly personalities, and they're all, all jerks. Artful Dodgers is the prime example of that, and I hate that episode. It's the, it's the, once again, it's the third worst in the series. Only topped by two episodes for that category. So, if you're from Cartoon Network, answer this. Cancel the show. It's an abomination. I don't like it. The American people don't like it. Yet it's a rating success. Are you going right for rings? Also, I'd like to make a comment to this new president. I heard you want to make your network more kid-friendly. I can't see any little kid being thinking these morals aren't real. Think you're gonna get a different society because Cartoon Net because this show might just be your top rated show right now. I don't know exactly. 
But, so, what are you going to do? Cancel the show and get at your fan base back, Cartoon Network? Uh, or are you going to Johnny Test the show? Because I bet you, you're going to get the Johnny Test reaction from this very shortly. This is the end of our network. They do not listen to fun. Adventure time is lower quality. Regular show is nowhere to be seen. Do they have any hope? Clarence has fallen as well. Uncle Grandpa is crap. Don't get me started on toddler titans. They have seen you and come well. Those are the last hopes. But do you think that they can last? Yes, Gumball's rating success. Cartoon Network, please now listen to me. I am the judgment. I am your hope. Now please excuse my bad singing to give yourselves hope. But do you want a rating success? Cancel Toddler Titans and Uncle Grandpa and regular, no, not regular show. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Like the song? Download it on iTunes. When is it gonna get there? Never!